Hiya and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build your first mining ship inside of Space Engineers. I'll be covering the very basics so feel free to sit back, relax and enjoy the video. And remember if you like the video leave a comment down below or a thumbs up or even subscribe. Enjoy! Oh and before I forget if you want some extra tips on making your ship look nicer check out my other video here. Now the first step is going to be to place down a landing gear. So I'm just going to get the landing gear, turn it into a small block with the number 2 and put it down on the floor. I'm going to build up a little bit because it will allow me some space to work underneath of the ship. Kind of like a car jack. I'm then going to add on my cockpit as it's you know the most important block of any spacecraft. And I'm going to want to conveyor up one of these medium cargo containers because I think a medium cargo container is a good for one for this size of this ship. I'll probably probably be including two to four of them. So the problem is it's only got a large port on this side and I want it to be facing this way but those are small ports on the back of that cockpit if you couldn't tell. So I'm going to use something called a conveyor converter which will convert my two small ports into one large port. So I'm just going to line them up to make sure I can pass components through and stick it on the back there. Then I can just simply whack down my cargo containers. Very easy. I'm then going to turn symmetry mode on with the M key and left click just because it makes my life a lot easier. If you're building in Space Engineers you're going to be using this for probably every single ship you ever design. Then I'm going to find some space for my thrusters. I think I'm going to have my thrusters on the sides of my ship just because it keeps them nice and trim and in line with everything. I'm going to use three per medium cargo container. That works quite well on the standard settings for Space Engineers. Then I'm going to want to have some forwards thrust. I'm going to make a little... I think I'm actually going to need to find somewhere to put them. Yes, bottom. Forwards thrust on the bottom. Right here. I'll put three on the top and three on the bottom. And if you're wondering how I can place multiple blocks at once like this, I'm just holding, holding the control key and dragging. There we go, that's one direction, and then that's the other direction. I'm actually going to need to find some more thrust for the forwards direction because it needs to be able to support the cargo containers. So you can see I've got 12, 6 on each side, so I'm going to want 12 going downwards as well. So I think 3 there, 3 there, 3 here, and 3 on the other side, which also is 12. And now it can go vertical, and the reason I want to do this is because if you're drilling downwards, you need to be able to carry the ore as well. So obviously you're not drilling sideways all the time, not everything's in a mountain, sometimes it's in the floor. So next most important part, horizontal thrust. I always forget this, uh, make sure you don't. <laughs> and I've got a nice little space made just for it here. I'm going to have, uh, let's think, how many thrusters am I going to use? I'm going to use three on each side. And notice that I'm just using the armor blocks to make a little bit of a, of a support bracket for them. There we go. Actually, that's a bit goofy. Let's have it like that. Perfect. Next up, I'm going to want to add on the drills. So I'm just going to take some small conveyor tubes off the end here. And the reason I'm doing that and not just putting the drill directly on the end is because I want to have more than one. So I'm going to use a multi-noded one there. Some generic tubes here. And then delete uh, a bit far. Let's put some corners on. And now I can have three drills which is much better than one, if you can count. So, put one here, one here. Now, I don't actually need these conveyors because they are attached. Now, it turns out I've actually put them too close together, as you can see. There's no, there's little point to having your drills directly next to each other because they have an area of effects that's larger than their footprint. So I am going to modify this by simply moving my little, little arms out one more block. There we go. Now I can place my drills and they'll have a little gap between them, which is slightly more space efficient. Perfect. And now I need some sort of power source. So I'm going to fill this, um, I'm going to fill this negative space right here with some batteries. And I think I'm also, I also want to put one here, but these thrusters are in the way. Now, a way I can remedy this is by getting rid of them. Uh, oops. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Anyway, I'll get rid of these. Nobody saw anything. And I'll just put these 
other sideways thrusters in on top of my batteries. Look how that worked out. Very nice. And that gives me space for my other batteries here. Now I just need some more reverse thrust, so I'll just get more reverse thrust. Very, very easy. Perfect. I'm liking this ship already. It's going to be a fine atmospheric miner. Now, next thing I'm going to need is a gyroscope. This allows your ship to rotate around on the spot. I'm going to use two gyroscopes because it's going to be quite heavy once it's full of ore. I'm also going to want to have an ore detector. This little nifty block will detect ores up to 75 meters away, which is very useful if there's something that's deep underground you want to find. I'm also going to add an antenna because it allows us to communicate with our ship from a distance. So you can see the ship's all the way over there, but if I press the K menu, go into remote access, I can actually access the terminal of that ship from all the way over here. And you can see I can do things like I can put my batteries on recharge, I can go into the cockpit, turn it off and on or something if I wanted to. I can do anything. I can even up the range of the ore detector. And it turns out I was mistaken, it's not 75 meters, it's only 50 meters. My bad. So, uh, final step is to add on some little features like lights. I like to have lights on my mining ships because it helps a lot when flying at dark or inside a cave. So, I'm just going to add some around here, some on the back, and then some spotlights on the front which will let us view things in a nice illuminated glow. Now, anything I'm forgetting? Uh, oh, I am forgetting something. I need to have a connector on the back. This will just let us deposit our, it will let us connect up to our base and it will let us deposit our ore once we've mined it without having to, you know, go into the inventory, drag it across to our character and then put it in the station, which is a very tedious process. And we're not going to be doing that because we are engineers and we find solutions. So now that the ship is nice and uh, finished, I'm actually going to take a copy of it before I fly it for the first time, just because if I crash it, I will have a backup there. A backup, sorry, a backup here. This is the one I'm going to fly. So let's get rid of this little strut, get in the cockpit, and give it a whirl. So it feels very responsive, as it should be for an atmospheric mining ship. It's got a lot of battery. If on the battery life it's going into a red line, I'll simulate that right now by removing some batteries. If you see a red line when you put your thrusters on, that means you've not got enough batteries on your ship and the wattage being drawn by your thrusters is higher than the output of your th batteries. So oh, let's try not to crash. Let's delete this. Anyway, if you have that problem, simply add more thrusters. Sorry, simply add more batteries or get rid of thrusters. It's as easy as that. Right. Now the next test is to mine some ore and see if the ship can still support itself. So to mine some ore, I'm going to go into the G menu, go into tool blocks and drag down a drill. Just letting selecting it will let me use it like a hand drill. And it's got both modes. It's got the standard mining mode with left click and holding right click to dig a tunnel. Very useful for getting to those deep ores. So let's just fill up the cargo container. This is important because if you build it in survival without testing this, you may find yourself unable to get out of the hole you've dug yourself in, quite literally. So best to avoid that. A little bit of testing. And it looks like it's working quite well. If you're on different inventory settings with a higher inventory size for your cargo blocks, you may need more thrusters because obviously more mass can be stored in the same container. Now, I just noticed I've got these thrusters pointing at these thrusters. This is eventually going to destroy them entirely, which is not good. As you can see, it's losing health rapidly because the plume is going through it. So I'm going to get rid of those and place them somewhere else on the ship just to avoid any unfortunate accidents. I think I'll just place them on the top. I actually have more than before. Perfect. I'm going to do a little once over, make sure there are no more errors like that that I've made. And it doesn't seem like there are any. This ship is now technically complete, complete but it looks sort of ugly. So let's fix that. I'm going to use, this is a plugin I've got. You can Google the plugin manager if you want to do this, but I've got a toolbar which I can just load and it's got all of my building blocks on it. So I think some little struts going along from here would look quite nice just to give it a little bit of uh, volume and glory to the design, make it look a little bit more interesting. I'm also going to add on some wraparound uh, bumpers because 
these are actually not just aesthetic. These will prevent me from smashing my ship up the first time I crash it, which, uh, you know, you, do, you don't want to do. You want to have a little bit of a crumple zone, a little bit of a buffer to prevent you from completely detonating your ship immediately. So I think I'm going to have a little bit of curve going around here. And I'll just connect it to the convert to the uh, thing. What's it called? There we go. Perfect. And now this ship is done. Besides a little bit of a lick of paint, I'm just going to give it some basic Space Engineers colours. Paint it blue. That was Control Shift Middle Mouse, and have some white stripes on it. That is this is Control Middle Mouse, and this is Shift P to get the colour. There we go. My first little, very functional, not really prioritizing aesthetics, uh, atmospheric minor. Feel free to leave a like on the video if you like this video, and I'll be putting this on the workshop if you want to have a little look around it in your creative world. Thanks for watching.